Welcome to Terraformers The Red Planet Awaits. My name is Nilaus and I will be your guide to this uh, showcase of this new game that is uh, coming out today, being released today on Steam. It is developed by Asteroid, Ga Asteroid Lab and published by Goblins Publishing and Indie Arc. Now, before we dive into the gameplay, there are a few things I want to get out of the way so that we're clear about the video and uh, about the game. Uh, so, if you want to just skip that, jump into the game, you can uh, find the chapter in the link in the description. So this is a sponsored video, and that means that the, uh, the developers or publisher have paid me to play the game, but it is very important for me that my opinions are my own. And as anyone who is uh, regularly following my content, you know that if I play a game, my opinions are very, very clear. So uh, there is no uh, faking it around here. Uh, this is something I do rarely, but if the game sort of slips below my radar and the, the publisher comes to me and says, hey, do you want to play this game? And I also wasn't really planning on it, but it looks interesting. Then this is a, this is kind of how I could do that. So that with that out of the way, let's talk a bit about the game. The game, as they are ex explaining it on the Steam page, is that Terraformers is an expansive colony builder and resource management game. Explore the red planet, develop spectacular cities, spread life and terraform the planet with ambitious projects. Super cool, tells you about the setting, but it doesn't tell you about how the game plays. So let me add to that as well. I would say this is a turn-based simulation, city builder, colony builder, and it has really strong roguelike elements. And at first I just kind of stumbled over those roguelike elements because it felt, felt weird, but I think it really makes sense. And it's a really fun take to take the elements that we know from the, like the metagame progression and sort of the randomness we know from Slay the Spire, Monster Train, uh, Hades, that kind of thing, and put it into a turn-based colony builder, which makes it each playthrough unique and interesting and makes you progress if you play the game more. Super interesting, and I found myself really getting uh, getting caught up in uh, in in this this play style. This video will be me showcasing the game for you. I'll be uh, explaining the mechanics. I'll be explaining the systems, the strategies, so that I can provide a foundation for you to determine whether this is a game that you want to buy. If you want to check it out, then there's a link in the description below. This is a tracking link, but it takes you to Steam. So um, so do check that out on Steam. It is releasing today. If there's interest for it, I will be continuing this as a series here on YouTube. But also, if you want to see more after completing this video, I am streaming tonight on Twitch at twitch.tv slash nilaus at 10 p.m. Central European time. I'm going to be streaming this for a couple of hours, a bit, maybe a bit more, because I want to go through an entire playthrough. Now, that was all the preamble. Let's dive into the game. The Red Planet awaits. So here we have uh, the intro. And uh, we should not expect... Uh, this is an indie game, so don't expect a massive... Uh, uh, cinematic shots, but it, there's a story and it's uh, it's cute and cool. And uh, I'm going to skip it because I want to focus on the gameplay because that's the stuff that really gets you to buy the game, I think. So we uh, start with resources, power, food, water, and titanium. And we go in here. So we are at the Mars frontier. Our objective is to fill the progress bar here. This is our victory point. And it basically just guides us through all the things we want to uh, want to achieve and that will be once we complete that bar then the game will be completed this is the support up here this uh, is basically how happy are we and it's uh, if it drops to zero the colony is doomed and we lose if uh, if it goes up then it's just a nice buffer so keep it up and we are see here with this plus one is that we get plus one per turn we are here on the red planet we can zoom around and we have over on the left hand side all of the resources some of the things that I feel is super important to get started on uh, immediately is that these resources, there is really no difference. There's not like any of them work in different way than the other. Uh, they are the same value, the same worth. Sometimes when it says something like power or science, you would think that that's or food. They usually operate different than something more static like titanium, for example. But stuff like science is not something you use for uh, for research projects or that kind of thing. Uh, power is not something that is gradually consumed by your buildings. Food is not something that's consumed by your citizens. That's just, these are flat resources, which is incredibly nice because it means that it is a much more relaxed playthrough. That doesn't mean it's not difficult, but it means that it's, you don't get into those those situations where the weight of your civilization is simply carrying you down because of the power constraints, the food constraints, and your pro science isn't progressing. So that's really nice. First thing we want to do is select the leader. A leader is a very interesting thing that uh, determines they have some special abilities. They can use one, one of these once per turn. And they, uh, they have that uh, benefit that the specialization here is something that lasts through the entire game. 
So once you get more leaders, the leaders will leave after 10 turns and then you get a new leader, which is again is makes perfect sense because well, they're, they're not gonna be, they're not immortal. So uh, what we have is we have an option. They can always do exploration. Then they have, he has some way to overwork. We don't wanna get too much into this because all of this is, uh, is it gets more explained as we get in here. Or you can be, build a, a police station for free so he can build a, a city. And then he has like a specialization about sort of water production. I'm gonna choose this guy. Um, he has, uh, uh, he has this mining resource, which might be kind of handy. So we'll take take him and get started. So nice to meet you. So what we have is we have a single little teeny tiny city here and we dive in. All of the mechanics are by mouse. So I think this game, it also works really well on uh, uh, on a tablet. I think that's also kind of designed for it so that there aren't like, there aren't any keyboard shortcuts. So that's pretty simple. Right, so we have uh, all of these locations here, the flat ones are locations where we can build and these are rocks where we cannot build. This is our HQ and it provides one population and one uh, one support per turn. Support going up here. And basically our objective, these here are, they're called research projects, but think of them more as cards and these are things you can build. So we can, we can see that this one is a red because we don't have 30 food but we do have a greenhouse so let, and we have 10 water. So let's build that. And you can see that it can immediately, let me think of this is something, uh, I'm gonna build that here. So we built a project. And what we're now seeing is that this is producing one food per turn and we get plus one. So we produce this per turn, but we, so we can't build this and it's of course designed so that we can, we'll be guided into building this on the next turn. Now, as we go out, we can also see that his other abilities are not unlocked, but we can still explore. These locations out here are available for us to explore. And we can see that if this one of these is a large hint of titanium, that means there's probably going to be a titanium mine out here. What we want to do is we want to build up our city, get more resources, use the resources to build a bigger city, to build new cities and keep doing that. And then there, there are more layers of information or more layers being added on top. Let's just look at this. We will, every time we explore, they cost a bit of power. And again, this is just a static power. So it's just a resource that's consumed one of. Uh, which one do we think is more valuable? Well, I'll, I already have five titanium, so I'm gonna take this one. So what we see here, uh, the resource uh, prospect of the location as we get deposit of nitrates as well as a small hint of water. So we get plus four nitrates and plus three water for our troubles. And let's just get added to our stockpile. We can see this location is now has nitrates and if we can build a mine, but we can't build a mine yet. And this is one of the things that really just bugged me at the beginning, I didn't get it. Like why, what is this? How can I do this? What you need to do is you need to build up population for every population you have you can sort of claim a nearby location that you have explored and then build something there, either a mine or a special uh, regional building as well. So that is our first turn. We can't really do anything more. We've done our leader thing. We've done some building and we just skip the next turn. And then this is, and again here, this just to clar clarify, this is called research project, but it has nothing to do with research and science. These are just every turn you draw three cards, you choose one of these cards put it in your hand. And even this one is, uh, is it has like a, a card. It's, it's a card game. Um, and I love it because that means that I'm not necessarily getting what I want. At this point, I'd say I want to make sure that I get more food because food allows population that allows expansion. That's great. Uh, what we have is a tuba farm that gets cost 10 nitrates. Again, no upkeep and it produces one food per turn. Or we can do a tri tritium thermo generator cost nitritium, we don't have any of that. It gives us one power, that's nice, but we do have a lot of sort of buffered power. And it also has, and this is one of those places where there's upkeep in terms of support. If you place this next to a population, so that if you place a thermal generator next to a housing, then the people are gonna be slightly unhappy. Yeah, well, try not to do that. Or a lab that generates science. I don't find this to be particularly useful at this point. And uh, our city space is limited. Since we also have uh, a nitrate, location here, then it's more likely that we will get this one. Now we go back in here and we can build a location. We are going to build the habitation module. I will build it right there. Ta -da! And this gives us plus one population. You can see population up here. Uh, we can look at all these other things a bit later. 
but just so that we make sure that we don't overwhelm with mechanics immediately. So we got that habitation module and that means we now have one extra population. If we look at the population, we have this one here. That means we can now tab one of these locations that we have available. And if I click on that, we now have a line and it's connected. We can now build something there because this one had a nitrate deposit. So we can build a mine and that is now activated. It is in our domain and it's a mine and it gets us plus one per turn. Yay, awesome. Now at this point, it's actually gonna take quite a while for us to get to the next because we really need to get more food. That's why I, uh, the next food, as we saw here, this one costs 30 to build. So building up to 30, it's gonna take a while. But the good thing is we, um, we can do a lot of other things like uh, exploration and we wanna explore as much as possible. So there's one that has a big hint. It's usually a mine of that sort. And the further we go away from the city, the more unhappy the, they'll be. So we start by uh, exploring the stuff nearby, such as this one. We'll get some titanium and silicates as well as now getting a titanium deposit. Again, we can't do anything because we need more population. That's the end of that turn and we can then proceed. And we get a new option here. Since we really want to get this uh, eventually, and that's probably the one we want. We can't get any, we don't have any water yet. So now we sort of, that's the very basic, very basic sort of uh, gameplay loop is that you have your turn, you l select your cards, you uh, see, fee, see if you can build in one or many of your buildings. You can use your special abilities and uh, timing them and using them sort of as, as properly as possible. See, we can remove this for three power, so that would be six power, or we can use him to um, uh, select a resource deposit. Oh, see, that's great. So for example, select a mine. And if I select him and select that mine, we'll immediately get five bonus nitrates, which gives us 10. With 10, we can build a tube farm. Now I'm gonna build it here because there are buildings that will give adjacent food producers something extra. So if I leave this empty, then that can buff this one and that one as well. That just seems good. You can also move them around. That is not, doesn't cost anything, just a few turns where they don't produce. So that means we now have two food per turn. That's pretty good. We used his ability to sort of leapfrog and get into that as fast as possible. Cool, that's on the next turn. And now we get one trade route. Um, then uh, let's. that's a good time to explain what how trade routes work. We have already this one. So what else could we want? We could want to make another farmhouse, but we don't have any way of getting this. It's much more likely we can get a lab, although labs are, I don't think they're particularly good, but hey, it's early game. So let's get what we, uh, what we get. So here is a, the trade route. Trade route means that we can take one of those and remove it. For example, one power we could remove uh, per turn, and then we can add one more else other thing per turn. Um, it is not really good until you have a lot, uh, have some mines, but it's a really good way to patch up the things you don't have or to make sure that you build something faster if you're building up uh, some more. Uh, what we can do as well is, for example, if we wanted to work towards the laboratory, that means we need to get some nitrates, which we're getting slowly, and we need to get some, uh, what, is, what is this called? What are you? Silicates, of course. Then if we can find a location out here that has nitrates and silicates, then that would be a good one to take. This one has nitrates and silicates. So let's uh, actually just explore that and see if what we get. Two plus two and 30 support. Because we found a nice crater and we got plus 10 food bonus thing. Now a crater is actually a location where we can build a new, new city. I just feel that this is a bit too close to our existing city to build it here. So um, we probably won't build it, even though there are some titanium deposits in the city. So that it's pretty cool that we can uh, we can get that. So we do use our ability. This is one thing that I wish they would do is like make these green when they're not clicked and make them red when they are clicked because right now they're red all the time and you kind of have to hover over it to know if you've used it this turn or not. Make it green, click it, then it turns red. Lovely. That's uh, just because I find myself always going about did I do that first or last? At this point, we just keep chugging along. We want to get here. Doing exploration is a good way to get extra food. And we now get an option to get some things. We can get this, we can get this, but tritium is really uh, harder for us to get. So I think we'll take that. And we get a perfect opportunity to get a thermal generator. And I think that's what we want. 
yes, let's get a thermal generator because that gives us an opportunity to do. Oh no, did I do it the wrong way? I did it the wrong way. Ha! That's taking it out of that and putting it back in there. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right. Um, but we do have the option of building this. This is important not to build it next to next to a power supply. Uh, but also this one has an option for some things that can be built. So I think I'll take that out and then put you in here. So that is plus one. Power, we want to get as much as possible here and then get in many trade routes so that we can shift them around to wherever we want. So right now it's all about sort of building up our our facility to get more stuff and working towards our next thing. We can mine resources, but the only thing we can mine is this one and we don't really need that. So we'll keep exploring. We'll take the ones that are closest, get two nitrates and three titanium. Good. If we get this one next time, we can get our lab on the next turn. So let's move forward. Then we get an exploration satellite. That's really nice. This is a, there will be later on some space, space builds as well. Um, and they don't take any space up here, but you need to sort of uh, transport the resources there. This is one we get for free. Now here is a, this is, why is this red? Is it a rare card? No, it's actually not. It's a regional building. So this means it's a building that is not built in a city, but it's built outside on the landscape, but only once you've claimed it. Like we build a mine, we can also take something that's empty and then put a windmills on it. It's really nice. But as I mentioned, we want the soil factory because this can give us uh, some, some nitrates and uh, using nitrates that we can get and it gives us more food that's the most important thing we want it's really expensive though explore location with satellites that's great we now have a satellite building down here and the interesting thing about this is that this satellite okay hold up if i do this you can see as as we get further away it gets more expensive but with a satellite it doesn't get more expensive so that's nice. So we can explore things that are further away with the satellite because it doesn't cost us anymore. What we really want to do is try to find a location that we can start working on sort of the next next location we want to go to. Uh, we also want to really focus on nitrates because we want to get this to 22 and so that we can build that soil factory. What would be interesting for us to explore and trying to see what we have out here, if there's anything. These are all only costing two, so that's not that expensive, but stuff like this is really expensive. Uh, we'll do a nice little boost for this. Oh, this might be like a two, 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 three, not a much, but, and it's a completely empty location. That's a bit sad. And we can then build at this location. I will just, um, I'll build a lab in there. It's not really that important. I think we haven't used him. So if we just start using him for mining this one more intensively, then we get more nitrates and we buff up our... What? Mine five? Oh, right, I just spent five on the, on the other building. So now it's no, just up here, okay. Well, that's uh, that's unfortunately gonna take a bit of time, but we wanna get to 22 or we're gonna get to 30. Those are our objectives at this point, so progress. And this is one of the things that just makes it harder. So all constantly we get every, I don't know how often it is, but sometimes they will just go. You can now see that we are now losing support up here and we could get a, another greenhouse farm or we can get a better thing here. This is protected from radiation. We can get into that uh, in a bit. I'm actually really desperate for food at this point. So here's um. Let's use this opportunity to talk a bit about these mechanics. So this is, uh, mm, maybe that's actually better to talk about that in, and when we get the terraforming. So when you, what you can see is this is a region as a border around here. And if we look at the Serenum region, then the temperature is minus one. You can see it's one of minus one of three. The oxygen level is minus three and the rain is minus two. So we're not getting any of that. And our objective generally in a game called Terraformers is to make sure that we raise the temperature, we get some oxygen, we get some rain, and there's one more. What was the other thing? Uh, water, yeah, there's, there's one more. <laughs> uh, we also need to spread life here as well. And that's something that comes in later, but right now we just have a very, very small location that we're just desperately trying to, to work. And I'll keep pushing this one because this is basically giving us 
more and uh, when he gets to turn 10 end of turn 10 he will uh, he will leave us looking at more options this one is pretty good as well gives more power if we have power stations in the city this one gives us more support if we have a uh, if we have some food and uh, neither of those are super useful right now but we'll definitely take take one of them at some point uh, we will be continuing to push for this as much as we can even though we're losing the progress on exploration but i just want to use this when we can to get as close as possible to to get those 22 so we can get more and more and more and more, and more. um anything else we want to get here like science isn't that great right now um i think we'd rather have our we have two things that require water so let's move our singular trade route over to that location the robot hub is an amazing thing there are some things so we have population and they cost a lot of food but they also give a bit of comfort of living and that's nice but we also can get robots robots can also work and build and do stuff they are however not um not able to uh they will give us expansion but they will not give us any happiness support so by doing this that is amazing because now we can actually go out here and tap some of these locations like that location and then we can tap a mine yes finally i i have one more expansion i could take this but we also don't know if that one is super nice and useful uh, so that could be something we'd really want it's unlikely that it's something we want because it doesn't have a large hint uh, but if we want to get look for something that has a large hint then we could look for this one as well um he could explore that i'll just let this wait for a couple you know what i'll do this so that means we get to 22 next turn and can build this at that point uh what we can do in with the satellite is keep exploring this way these are expensive to explore we get free water and uh, we're just looking for places where our next expansion if there was a city expansion here that could have used uh that could be we're looking for craters and that kind of thing for our next city expansion so he has not done it and we're going to do exploration to this location more silicates and we can now get a silicate mine here if we want to expand out there do we have enough yes we do now we get minus one because it's two tiles away. I'll still do it and I'll still get a mine. So this was really productive because we got the drone hub. We got two expansions and we managed to now get one mine, one titanium and one silicate per turn. That gets, that means we don't start getting resources. Perfect. We actually also found enough water to get another water location. Now I'm kind of thinking that we might be needing to move things around uh, because this silicate here, if I look at it, if I look at this one, then I can do, if I move this here, yeah, okay, I'm gonna move things around. It's it's weird. Um, take that up. You can go over there. You can go over there. You can go there and you can go there. And then you will go there. Wow, that was a lot. So these are relocating. That means in the next two turns, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to add their bonus. It kind of sucks. I could have planned it better. I'm a noob. So be it. But one food, one food, one food. These two are not producing anything. But when we get this one, it'll buff all of them as well. So we do that. Uh, produce titanium or food science and power again. I think this is the one we have the most of. So we'll just do that one extra turn now we get a new one a university adjacent science buildings get plus one i'm not really keen on the science part but a hospital provides plus seven that's something we need and plus one extra so we'll take this even though we don't have any uh, tritium but what we do have is that one now this only buffs this one because it's the one here the other ones we'll get next turn and what we just Go now from two, then we'll get up the way up to six food next turn, which is lovely. And what absolutely we want, he will be replaced at the end of this turn. So he, uh, if there's something we want now with his ability or his supply station, I don't really um, like this because it takes a location. Exploration mission can be undertaken from here. That means you basically, if you build it like really far away, uh, then 
it'll be cheaper to do exploration missions. I don't know. I, I just didn't find it to be super useful. But we'll do exploration, or do we want to take more of this? His, we'll we'll do up here. Two to get nade nitrates, and that oh, also food is nice. Hey, look at that! We actually got free food. I like free food. Um, now I kind of regret putting it there, don't I? Yeah, I do. That science is not great. I'm gonna relocate it. I can't even relocate it. Can I relocate? No, I can't really relocate it. Um, I will build that one here. That gives us another exploration. Perfect. I'm not going to tap that yet, but I think I'm going to tap. How did we not get another out here? I don't get it. We'll see. There we go. They got it. A storm in New Malibu and a new leader. So. He is retiring, Thomas Foster, he's retiring. It's time for a new one. Uh, Royal Construction. What? Uh, Royal Construction, that means outside buildings. Yes, modular apartments are better for support. That's really nice. If they're next to each other, they get plus three support. Or uh, destroy two rocks. That's okay. Spend water. No, that's much later when we can do that. Uh, every location providing support. No. Yeah, that's definitely more of the, the building guy. And this one got wrecked, so I have to repair it. And because the buildings that are destroyed or broken are not great. There. That really destroys our happiness. So we uh, need to get 15 food in order to get that. S road paper is good, but I think the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we get... Uh, we want to get a new new city. So we put this in stockpiles, so it's good for a new city. But we just haven't found a good place for a city. So we need to do more exploration here uh, to figure out where we have a potential for a new city. I want to. I really want to get it over here. That's uh, it's going to be expensive. Oh, this. Why? It's probably a sandstorm or something. That's usually why it doesn't like that. Um, this is going to be a mining. This is going to be a mining. I want to get the, the stuff that's really far away. What? How? We don't know how cold warm that is. Oh, minus five. I didn't want to do that. That's a canyon view that we can build a viewpoint tower that gives us more. That's not really what we wanted. Uh, we really want to work, work towards the next housing. I don't think that's the one we want. I think we want to go here. And we also want... So now we have that... The housing we did last time and we get plus six food so food is finally accruing and yeah we, we just have to uh, push it a bit further and then see if we get something interesting here uh thermo nope brine plus two support per turn for every building in the city that cost water then we can uh, look at that and go here and say what cost water that cost water plus that cost water so if we build that brine thing in here still can't build it require 14 food so we're gonna have to endure that for one more turn if we get the card here for the brine electrizer we get plus four happiness that's not much it's the least bad option we have i think so we'll take it and we have an option for more exploration um i really want to go out here and see if we can i really want a crater or something Rocket planes. Damn it, I'm still not getting any. I want to get a location for exploration. Um, so we're going to keep exploring out here and just seeing if we can find something that is a good place for exploration. I'm going to do these. They are really expensive. But these will be miners, mines, but this could be a crater of sorts. Flat planes. We can found a city. Sweet. We can found a city. We have food. We just need more of that. Great, so this is a good, mm, it's not a great place for, for but it'll also, uh, it'll also flood. Ah, that's probably not a great place to build a, a, a new house, but you know, we'll do it, we'll do it. Now we get an option here, so what do we want? I think it's going to be titanium. A robot hub is nice. Yeah, we'll do, which one's? Which one's better? Uh, I think I'll take this for now. So we can build a landing pad that gives us plus one trade route. We need to go in here and make sure that we repair. 
and now we are only minus three. It's, it's not great that we get minus three, but it is as it is. Uh, what we can do though is we need one more for that landing pad. And that goes over here. So we'll build a landing pad next turn. Or maybe even not next turn. Maybe even this turn. If we can take this. I can't even... Re See, I have to... In order for me to build a location here, I have to explore those two around. So we'll have to use our satellite one for this and use focus on the cheaper one. That one get lots of support and lots of food. That's really nice to get support, food. And we built a trade route. So that gives us one more trade route. So if there's anything else we want to see, for example, we can live without that one. Uh, we could definitely not live without that. That's actually uh, our main issue right now. Do we need to try tritium? We have enough for the hospital, uh, but we don't have enough science. Uh, science is coming along, so let's get I was actually losing it. That's not good. Need to subtract one more. There isn't really anything I want to subtract at this point. Water is kind of necessary. Food is super necessary. So maybe we don't have enough. We don't have enough production to really use our. That's that feels bad. Feels really bad. Yeah. Feels bad, but it, it is what it is. Um, we got that trade route even though we can't use it for anything at this point we have recharge time is two turns for this oh and we also had oh yeah free stuff free stuff uh what do we want free stuff of maybe we'll do the power then feels hold on titanium for the food this one it's gonna take a few turns five turns then we'll get it uh, the road paver is going to be useful in the next building because that gives us basically three free locations so I think I'll take the power because we want to make sure that we explore look at that the food is coming along and what is it? a courthouse plus two comfort living don't really care about comfort living right now and I don't want to use my food for that windmills they're they're always nice to put out there a tuba farm is also good uh, it's not so far out I think we'll do that because when once we build the road expansion in here, then we will be able to get it. So what I'm going to do is I will explore, even though it's super expensive. Uh, I'll do that one, which will give us some science. So that means next turn we can build the hospital in here. And if I build the hospital, we can move things around, can we? This counts as a support. So if I build the hospital there, it gets plus two as well. So we'll build it there. We'll build the hospital and then we'll finally be okay in terms of power. And this is also progressing. I need this one undone and that will be next turn. And then we can two turns. We'll get this. Anything we else we want? No. Get a CO2 factory. There we go. That was a, that was a good one. Uh, that is, that we'll just take a look at. That's what I was really hoping we'd get. There, that's a great one. We can only have eight cards at maximum. So if you end up with eight cards, you must discard one. You get one science for that. This is great because it get, allows us now to, to look at this. These are sort of um, something on top of just the city building. Then we have to build like temperature, increase the temperature. If you get plus 30 temperature, then you get to a next level. Then the whole... Uh, uh, the temperature steps up by one oxygen get again get 30 oxygen then it steps up to one ocean sea levels get that um, all the way up to 30 and then you get a higher higher water level and also the atmosphere pumping uh, co2 into the atmosphere that's why we, they want us to make a co2 factory i don't want to build it in my first city i want to build it in my second city so we are starting to get like a lot of things but we're not really getting enough mines out here so we can do now the exploration satellite to get this one more support more satellites it is now ready to build at this location we can't found it until next turn so that is excellent but what we can do is start fixing our happiness by making the what was it it's a hospital yeah a hospital there that got us now to plus six so we're happy now at this point we can look at these things up here for example we can see that we have minus one from temperature. That's the level we have in this location. Uh, this one atmosphere 
uh, we have zero atmosphere and then the crater is protecting us from radiation. So radiation cannot be more base radiation level of five. Okay, temperature that is mostly dictating what kind of life we can have. Uh, oxygen level also again life and rain is well also life related. So we need to pump up these things in order to to uh, to get more out of our city. So at this point we want to we still do seem to have enough of this. I want to make the robo hub in the new city and I want to make the new city. So we uh, progress to oh, oh, oh we have not explored. Uh, let's take some of those close by. We haven't even taken this super cheap one. So let's do that. That's just some silicates and some science. That's all good. Then I think I actually want to do two of these and get more here. Um, there. Using that just to balance out. So basically this means that if you have enough trade routes, then it doesn't really matter what resource you have because you can shuffle them around pretty easily. Oh, minus sensible. Just We just got it fixed and then it got broken. Oxygen factory allows us to start producing atmosphere and oxygen. It's good. But I feel it's a bit too early for us to do that. We only have one city and we still have uh, lots of problems. So not really feeling it yet. There. What I do feel is the need to build a new city. There we go. We put our head HQ somewhere. Mm. I'll put it down here. Yay. So we found a new city. And at this point, we really want to build the robot hub. Can't do that yet. But the robot hub will give us some progress. Also, the road paver will give us some progress so we can get tap some of those locations what will this get us this is give a viewpoint yeah. uh, exploration i think we'll explore that one get two tritium oh i thought we were getting a tritium mine and oh, that kind of sucks if this could expand then it'd like to expand up to that aquifer but they're going to be competing for this and that's another boring viewpoint we definitely want more silica and progressing up here. This is actually not looking like a lot of interesting things we can build. We definitely need more titanium for our builds. So that's definitely a challenge. And did we get this already used moving forward? Now we get to the bioengineering part of the game. And uh, this is where the, the game really opens opens up. We can now have choose different types of bacteria. There are three levels. You can get bacteria, you can get um, flora the plants and then fauna the, the animals and we start with bacteria this uh, can endure at minus two temperatures but it will get more temperature uh, later on so that's good or this one needs mi minus one temperature but generates heat and it can be spread every eight turns so i think we'll take this one giving us atm atmosphere is easier to get than heat uh, this one though has to have minus one temperature so we need to check okay I don't want that. I do need this, but I don't want it. Um, that's a not good. Ah, we'll take that. What I needed to see is our serenum is minus one temperature, so we can choose this one. So let's choose that. It doesn't get anywhere because we need to get the science going. So we need more science. Hmm, I did kind of forget that. That one, that one that could get us some science. Uh, what we really want is this one. Build a robot hub. Uh, let's build it somewhere random. And that gives us plus two. So we can now tap this. And we can't get the mine though. Um, we can steal this as well to get some water. We can extract water for oceans. That's not a good idea at this point. Or we can do a mine. So we are, we are taking this. What I then want is now I absolutely want to deal to get more titanium because we need more mines. Although, if I'm being honest, I also need more, more power. So first life forms. So this life form, we can't do it until we have all of this. So we want to get to the bacteria spreader so we can spread bacteria. And that will sort of be where we can then wrap up this introduction uh, as we look at this. And there are a few more things that I want to make sure that we, uh, we see. Right, this guy, uh, let's see. Exploration, that's gonna cost us some of this, but it's also gonna give us something. So that's the trade-off. Um, this will give us some science. This one is good because it can get us some science. Can you, it's costing us three. That's really expensive. That will be available in one turn. So we'll pop that one in one turn. 
And let's see if we have some cheap ones to get. This one's costing two. If we could get find something that gave us science, that would be nice. Because we really... Oh, look at that. That's expensive. Nope, 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 nope. That one gives us science. A tiny bit of science. Two science. We want to get all the way up there to that science. Again, all of this is flooded. That's not great. We're closing in on having a maximum here. That is the landing pad. That landing pad is good. I see you, gas factory. Gas factory is... Well, we can't build it right now. Road paver network. I'll take this. And we'll definitely need to get something out of the way. Right. Can we explore something that has either... Either that or that. I'll do this. Five titanium. And food. Nice. Food is nice. Right. So now we can actually tap... Tap this mine. And can I tap the other mine? Uh, down. No, I don't have the power. <laughs> it's just always something, right? There's always something. I'm going to keep building this because we also need... Uh, this is the, the strategy. Like, Have we made a mistake here? Hmm. Like, I'd really like to build some of this. These are all something that needs to be built out into the world. And that's not really super easy to get. This is a canyon viewpoint. If I do here, then I can build... When I get this next turn, I can get that. And then I can either reserve it for that. It's difficult. Oh, the road paver. That's actually what I want. Hmm. Well, I can't end because I have too much. Uh, this is not worth it. So we'll just ditch it. Ah, why? There, ditch it. And that's a bitter building. Igloo is protected from radiation. A power plant, that's really nice. A culture lab, mm, could be okay, but since we are saving up on the power, that's not happening. This is too far away. Igloo is, might be nice to get, just it's a slightly more expensive, but it's also a bit better. We can build it up here in Nikolaev. I'll build the igloo next to here. Look at how much happiness we get from this. Comfort of learning. Sweet, I don't know why the, we got so much from that, but we did. It's awesome and necessary for sure. Uh, we have to be careful about the exploration because exploration is taking a lot of power. What we can do is do that one, which gives us minus happiness. And then we can either build some windmill next turns to get more power, um, or we can build some more trading so we can get three trading. But I don't think I have enough to really do trading at this point. So I think I'm, I'm going to save until we have this. So we get more power. More power will give us more ability to explore. It's also kind of his last turn. So if we have some things that to be destroyed, then that's probably a good idea. Yeah, we can do that. We can destroy that. And that. Those for free. It's good. We saved six, six power for this. Right, we do, we do want the road paver, we do want this one. It's, it's really hard for me to figure out. Like, either I could build this right now, up here, or I could build that one. Yeah, I'll uh, skip turn. There might be some new and exciting thing that I want even more. A Rover Exploration Center gives the, an exploration action. The recharge time scales with distance of this upgrade. That is really nice. Not what we're going to be doing. This is a massive radio telescope that if we place it on high ground, it actually gives us plus two. So the question is, do we have any high ground? No, we don't have any high ground. It has a little indicator next to it. If there's a high ground like these have flooding, then they will also have a high ground location if if necessary. And we're we really want to build something at this point. So I will take an executive decision and build a windmill because we do have problems with this and you have your last turn. Let's do some exploration. What do we need to do for exploration? I need to, if this is a high ground, that would be awesome. Explore that one, that's expensive. Core science and large meteorite. We can either build a research station if we have, if we have that. And this is where we then need to either get some more robot ports or we need to get some uh, some yeah some more stuff because we this is where you're always kind of stuck is you always want to expand more 
And that's really the difficult part. You can see we have four things that want to be placed outside and I really want to work towards my bacteria spreader. But right now we, we only have the option of getting one more from the habitation module, which requires food. So we need the food to accrue. We also like to build a CO2 factory because that's kind of something we want. Um, we also want the road paver. Road paver is probably the one that would benefit us the most because it could just allow us to get three instantly. Let's actually do that. Let's see if we can explore. We want to get... Mm. Yeah, we'll do that. New leader. Maybe we'll get leader that can help us. Uh, life forms and genetic modification, cold. Reduce the heat requirement for life form. No. Efficient animals, but that's a bit early. He is expert in <laughs> Carnegie, expert in global warming. Mm -hmm. This one can choose a mine and it'll cause unhappiness, but gives us boost in heat. They're not very good for what we want. I'll take this guy because we'll always, always just, we can always just boost atmosphere here. Did we get anything? We got some miners cottage. Oh, we got delivery drones. Adjacent to population gives us happiness as well. That's great. That is absolutely what we want. There, it gives us four happiness and it gives us one population. One population down here. Um, what do we want? Large meteorite, we can do a research station or we can extract it by harvesting and then it's just a flat location. This one can do a viewpoint. That's the only thing we can do here. Not great, to be honest. Uh, let's see if there's anything we can do. We can explore that to get five titanium. I like, and this one has high ground. So that's how we see the indicator for high ground. I probably should have put this down here so that I could have gotten this location and placed something else there. I want to get that bacteria spreader out there. Mm. Food is coming along. It's just a few turns away. These don't seem particularly interesting. Large meteorite research station. I don't want to build that. We can use his exploration, which gives us a lot of science to see if we can get one of these to be just a normal that one. Oh, I don't, I don't even have that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. So. Yeah, that one could also be once. How do I do this then? Well, we'll just pass turn. Oh, I forgot. Oops, minus 15. That's not good. Hospital is more support. And that takes some of our power that's not happening. Two turns, we can get a new building here. But at this point, I really want to do some exploration. This one, I think. Cave. Ah, it's a crater. Uh, hold on. Can I build stuff here? What? Oh, it's not claimed. Okay, let me claim that. And then... Ta-da! We have a bacteria spreader. So, here we now have the three tiers. Bacteria, plants, and animals. And then we could have, like, the different ones. So, we have this. Methanogenium. And it gives plus heat per turn and gives us a tiny bit of prestige. We can put it in here because this uh, area has zero in temperature. So we'll put it. And then we spread it everywhere. Yay, we spread it life. And that gives us also some points at this point here. So at this point, let's. Uh, the one thing we haven't seen is the space exploration. I don't know uh, space projects. They will be coming in relatively soon, I guess. I hope. Uh, but it, it's at this point, I think we're sort of starting to see. I'm going to admit, compared to the other games I've played, this is a really slow start. The hardest part is getting getting rolling with the power, the uh, uh, the expansion, getting those out so you can get some more of these cool things. And I think that maybe one of the mistakes I did was getting was not building this one earlier. And if I had built it earlier, then I think uh, we could do more expansion as well. But you know, the thing, this uh, this is one of those games where it's just one more turn, one more turn, turns are quick. And uh, it's, I really enjoy it. And I just want to keep playing it. And I am going to keep playing it because tomorrow, tonight, uh, if you're watching this immediately tonight at 10 p.m. Central European time, I'll be uh, streaming this on Twitch. It, uh, 
and I'll de-stream it for two hours and probably I'll try to sort of complete a uh, the tutorial here on, on that. We'll start over there so you get a clean start and then we'll go all the way through and see if we can complete a game. Now, the one thing I want to, uh, to show is if we just jump out, save and quit. Here, if we look at a new... Oh man, I can't, can't do that. All right, well, I want to show a new game. Yes, I'm going to show a new game. So it's gone. So I want to show the meta progression. So I have completed the tutorial once and I left it a few times. Then we get to this and that is this is the meta progression that I want to show that you can see here that there are different objectives. This is the goal is earn 400 points. Then you can play it or the red path. The goal is have a certain amount of production of all these resources. You can play that and then you can sort of progress within each type. And as you progress to these milestones, you will get a uh, It'll be a longer game and you'll unlock new leaders, new life forms, new, uh, what was the uh, last one? Uh, leaders, life forms and buildings. So green path, spreading life. That's not a big one. And we have some new ones here that are currently locked and they will probably be unlocked as we go here. So level zero, level one, level three, level six, level something and level something. I think this is a really cool way to make sure that as you play the game and after you play it, the first time you go like, how is the next game going to be different? Well, it's going to be different, like maybe 10% different aside from you knowing how it is, but also the fact that you are getting new leaders that comes up or you're getting a different part. Maybe you will have more focus on food. Maybe you'll have more focus on trade. Maybe you'll have more focus depending on how the, the game world generates. So I think that was a good uh, hopefully it was a good uh, introduction. Now, as I said, if you want to see me continue to play, did I just ruin the... I just ruined it. <laughs> if you want to see me continue playing here on YouTube, then be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, keep <laughs> keep letting me know in the comment section if you want to see more of this game. I'll definitely be streaming more on Twitch, and uh, maybe it'll be a Twitch game, maybe it'll be a YouTube game, maybe it'll be just a showcase, depending on the popularity and the feedback, of course. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to uh, to the developer, Astro Lab, and the publishers, Goblins uh, Publishing and Indie Arc for uh, sponsoring this video. Uh, if you want to check it out, then check it out on Steam. There is a link in the description that you can click on and it'll be taken to Steam and it's just a tracking link so it looks weird, that's why. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Until then, take care and as always, stay effective.